is September 14th, 2014. Um, I'm going to make a brief vlog and give my opinion of a murder that took place by uh, some county sheriff officers. Essentially, it was a sting operation. And I'm going to sh show you a video of this murder. This YouTube video was on YouTube. And I'm sure you can find it on YouTube very easily. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to let this video play without giving any commentary on it or giving any explanation whatsoever. And then I'm going to explain what is going on after it's finished. I'm going to let you watch it first without interrupting. Okay, <clears throat> I let that video play uh, without any commentary or interrupting it in any way. And now that it's finished playing, I'm going to explain a little bit about it. <clears throat> about things that are on that video that are not actually discussed on news websites or on news TV stations. And about things that are blatantly on that video, but news media and the police and the county sheriffs completely ignore it and a lot of people miss it and don't notice it but that person that was murdered was surrounded by sting operatives that were surrounding his home and surrounding his family and that this person was being set up by a sting operation and he already knew he's being targeted by people in law enforcement. Um, he's probably was being set up by a sting operation for several months because this man was surrounded by sting operatives, literally. 
the person that is recording the video is either a civilian sting operative or is in fact an undercover law enforcement officer one or the other and he was expecting the man to show up where he lives he was expecting this he was expecting not only that man to show up at that time at his place where he lives but he was not he was expecting the law enforcement to be chasing him to his home and the man that is recording this video is saying there he is you know he he's sitting in his car and he's recording and waiting for him to arrive knowing he's going to be uh, pulled over by police near his home. The person that's doing the recording of that video is a sting operative and was expecting this to happen. He's, right after he says, oh, there he is, the officers were trying to pin the guy in front of where he lives and the dude fearing for his life tried to get away from these people tried to pull away from these people and the man the cameraman that is a sting operative that was expecting this ambush to occur made the comment parkour because the guy parkour the 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 victim parkoured around the police officer's vehicle so the sting operative was amused by that. Now keep that keep that amusement in mind. The, the cameraman is amused the entire time and right at the very beginning of the video is making it known that he knows this person, there that he knew this person was going to be ambushed by authorities in front of his home and was waiting for it and was expecting it to happen and was um, the cameraman is amused by the fact that the targeted victim parkoured his vehicle around the officer's vehicle now keep in mind before he says parkour he's saying there he is keep that in mind because they were expecting this to happen now, why is it people that live across the street from a murdered victim, why are they expecting that person to be ambushed in front of his home by multiple people in law enforcement acting as a hit squad? Keep that in mind because that's what happened. Now, I'm going to play a part of it and let you listen to the very beginning of it. You can hear the cameraman saying, there he is. And then right after that, he's amused by the fact that the victim parkoured his vehicle around the officers. Keep in mind, the cameraman's not hiding the fact that he was expecting this ambush to take place. Keep that in mind. He's expecting it. There. <clears throat> right where he says there he is that the the driver of the victim almost came to a stop practically he wanted to turn into his driveway where he fucking lives and law enforcement was blocking him from going home okay this man is being terrorized he's all his him and his whole family are already surrounded by sting operatives that have it out for him he has probably been harassed and gang stalked and terrorized for months by these people Okay, he already knows he's a victim of people in law enforcement that are targeting him. Keep in mind, the news media does not point out the fact that they will surround you with their sting operatives and that they plan out this shit. This is not a situation where this man committed a crime and law enforcement chasing him. This is a situation where he's surrounded by sting operatives and been surrounded by sting operatives for months, if not years. 
and has been harassed and terrorized by law enforcement and these sting operatives have probably set him up for several crimes of which they already gave him the blame for and they have they have no intention of giving this man a trial they want to vi they vilify their sting operatives vilify their targets they gang up on their targets. They spend several months vilifying their targets while they frame their targets. And then sting operatives usually assassinate their targets. This man is being assassinated by a police and county sheriff sting operation. And yes, sting operatives in law enforcement do use civilians in their sting operations now I don't know if the person that's doing the recording is an undercover cop or an undercover county sheriff officer or if he's just a civilian that is connected to the police or county sheriffs it's one or the other Either way, he's a sting operative because he was fully expecting this man to be ambushed right in front of where he lives. And he was amused and impressed at how his target parkoured around the officer's vehicle. It amused him. Okay, now keep that in mind because that's a dead giveaway of a sting operative. He's not, he fully knows what to expect. Okay, he expected this man to be ambushed where he lives when he comes home. He expected this to happen. So he's not surprised by the fact that the police are ambushing this man where he lives. Okay, he's surprised at how he parkoured around the officer's vehicle, but it's amusing to him. Now keep that in mind because that's a dead giveaway of a sting operative. Now I'm going to let this play a little further. There, the, the, the cameraman just said, I got it, I got it, I got it. So he's talking to somebody else that's nearby that he is not getting on his video. He's being directed by another sting operative to get out of the vehicle and go down the street to get closer video of the killing. He's being instructed to do this. There's a person that's with him that's directing him. To get out of the vehicle because they didn't expect him to go a little bit further down the street. Remember, they were surprised that he parkoured around the officer's vehicle. He is there to record the assassination under the pretense that he's a civilian neighbor. But he's a fucking sting operative. And he is with somebody else that's directing him to get out of the vehicle, get over there quickly and to get, get closer video of it. So that's why he's hurrying. He's not worried for anybody's safety. He's a sting operative, and his job is to record their, the office, the county sheriff officer's assassination of this person. And uh, it didn't go quite according to the way, exactly the way they planned, because they plan on shooting him right in front of his home. That's what they plan on doing. But the dude did, in fact, the victim did, in fact, parkour around the officer's vehicle and got a half a block further away. So now the sting operative that's supposed to, that is being paid to record this assassination is being directed by another sting operative to get out of the vehicle and get over there quickly and get, an, get, clo get closer video. So that's what he's doing. Okay, now I'm going to start this up again. Somebody just said, hurry up, hurry up. And he, that's when he started running. So some a female sting operative was directing this sting operative that's doing the recording to hurry up and get over there so that they can get closer video of the assassination. So this sting operative is following orders from another sting operative to, to get closer to the scene. Okay, I'm going to start it up again.
Okay. Now, there's a lot of people. He's this now at, during this point right here, up until the point where I just paused it. A whole bunch of officers. He's now this victim, the man in the white shirt and the blue uh, shorts. Uh, he's just standing there. He's unarmed. He didn't do anything wrong. He wasn't speeding. He's being ganged up and ambushed by multiple people in law enforcement that are uh, pretending he's guilty of a crime when he hasn't committed any crime. All he's trying to do is go home and uh, they ambushed him right where he lives. And this ambush was planned. The mere fact that sting operatives were waiting in advance of their, arri of their arrival and was expecting him to show up with police officers or county sheriff officers ambushing him and with police officers ambushing him, that's enough to know this was planned by authorities in advance. So they're not operating under the pre they're not operating under the pretense that there's some sort of an emergency going on this is a flat out ambush by dozens of people in law enforcement that had it planned out in advance and they, for the sake of video surveillance being taken by sting operatives the op main in other words, the person that's recording this, they're performing for the video surveillance and faking and pretending that this man is dangerous. Uh, he didn't do anything wrong. He wasn't speeding. It wasn't a high-speed chase. This man was ambushed where he lives. He was probably more than likely coming home from work and was simply ambushed right on the street where he lives with the officers having the intent of uh, barricading him in right in front of his home and the, the fact that they had sting operatives with cameras already running when the victim and the officer showed up is enough to know this was planned in advance so all these officers pointing guns at this unarmed man that was not speeding and is not holding a weapon and is not resisting, they are performing for video surveillance. They are faking an emergency situation. They're pretending for video surveillance purposes. They're pretending that this man is dangerous. They're putting on a performance. Now keep that in mind. Officers in sting operations always put on performances for video surveillance. I'll give you one example of how they do that. An example that pretty much almost everybody is already aware of. When police run a prostitution sting, police generally will take over an entire motel for that sting operation and they'll pay their female officers to dress up and act like prostitutes and what do they do why they perform for video surveillance so that the more officers act like a prostitute the more they can make the the men they're talking to look on video to be John's so they put on a performance for video surveillance well, when cops and county sheriff officers want to murder and assassinate people, then they put on a show, they put on an appearance that their target is dangerous. So they just pretend. Now the man is standing there. His, leg, his legs are spread because they're telling him to essentially spread his legs. They're telling him to get into position, so to speak. They're telling him to, uh, they're yelling instructions at this man. And he's just standing there. He's not resisting. He's not attacking. He's not armed in any fashion, way, shape, or form. He's surrounded by about 15, 20 officers that are putting on a pretense that the man's dangerous when he's not. He's just a man just like anybody else that's just trying to go home. And they just put on this bullshit act. 
Now keep in mind, these officers are performing for video surveillance. They already have sting operatives in place. These officers already know that they have multiple sting operatives surrounding the premises and recording this assassination. So all these officers are performing for those video cameras that their sting operatives are using to record this. So all the officers have to do is to pretend that the person's dangerous. That's all they have to do. And then they can fake justification in murdering this person. Every single one of these officers is pointing a gun. Look at this. Look at this. The this, this still shot of this video. Look at all these officers and plainclothes officers that are involved <clears throat> Look at him. They're all pointing guns at him. Every single one. Not He's just standing there. He's not armed. He's not uh, doing anything. He's literally just waiting for them to just arrest him. That's what he's waiting for. Literally, because what, how, how, what do you have to do to surrender to law enforcement? Isn't the man literally just standing there and just waiting to be arrested? He's not resisting. He's not acting dangerous. But for the sake of video surveillance, these officers will pretend that this man is dangerous. And that's what they're doing. And they are faking it. Now, I'm going to let this play a little bit further, and then I'm going to pause it real quick and I'll tell you why in just a minute okay right there <clears throat> now you can hear all these officers all of them every single one of these officers are pointing guns at him from all sides from all angles and every single one of them is yelling conflicting orders all at the same time. They're all yelling orders at the same time. Now look at what the man in the white shirt and blue jeans is doing. He is taking the spread eagle position because the officers are yelling at him to do this. Those are one of the orders they're yelling at him. Now keep in mind, there's like, there's like, how many people? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It looks like there's one right over there. There's another officer here, but it doesn't look like he's pointing a gun. It looks like he's just casually walking out of the line of sight because he knows this is the officer that's going to be doing the shooting. Here's the officer that's going to be doing the shooting. And he is getting, he's deliberately, before shooting, before they start shooting, this officer is moving intentionally away from this man. So he knows they're about ready to open fire. He knows they're getting ready to open fire and he's in the wrong position. So he's going over this way to get out of the line of fire. They gave a signal that all for him to get out of the way. They have every intention of opening fire on this person. And every single one of them is pointing a gun with the exception literally of this man right here who happens to be in the line of fire. Uh, he is walking out of the line of sight of fire because he already knows they're going to shoot this man. He already knows it. He's expecting it to happen and he's getting out of the line of fire. All the rest are pointing guns at him while he is getting out of the line of fire. He already knows they're going to be opening fire on him. Now keep in mind, every single one of these officers are yelling um, orders at this man. And they are yelling conflicting orders. One officer is telling him to... to to stand their spread eagle. Another officer is yelling uh, different orders at him. They're all yelling different orders at the same time. Now this video is catching these officers doing that. And guess what? You can't understand what they're saying, can you? It, you can just hear what sounds like multiple men yelling and screaming shit. That's what you hear, but you can't actually distinguish 
what the orders are that they're yelling. Now, can you? Well, guess what? Guess what? The man that's, that's a victim of this right there, he can't distinguish what they're saying either because they're all talking and yelling at the same fucking time. He's being told multiple, he's being given conflicting orders by multiple people that are pointing guns at him. Now, it's around this time when they start firing uh, rounds at this man. They're going to start firing rounds at him. And it's at this point, and keep in mind, he's not resisting. This man is not resisting. He's not armed. He's standing there spread eagle just like he was told to do by these officers. He's not resisting. He's not threatening. He's not a danger to anybody. And these officers are going to immediately start opening fire on him. And the moment they open fire on him, he's going to turn around and head towards his vehicle and try in the attempt to dodge uh, in an attempt to get out of the line of fire, if somebody's firing a gun at you, guess fucking what? You're gonna you're gonna die for cover. Okay, it's that simple. If somebody's firing guns at a person, people die for cover. Okay, that's a natural reaction. That's a natural instinct. This man is cooperating. He knows he's cooperating and these officers are going to open fire on him anyway. So he realizes they're going to kill him. So he, in a, in a desperate attempt, he turns around and acts like he's getting, he's, his instincts are telling him duck for cover. So he opens his back door to his car, wanting to dive into it to get out, you know, to protect himself from being shot at but that's his initial instinct because keep in mind they're opening fire on him and then his and then he in the mid process of this his instincts is telling him raise your hands high show them you are surrendering show these officers that you're surrendering to them so that they won't open fire on you and that's what this man does and that's when they Basically, a uh, county sheriff officer double taps him and murders him with his arms raised in the air. Now, I'm going to let this, I'm going to start this up and I'm going to let you uh, witness this part. Okay, now keep that in mind. He was standing there doing what they told him to do, following their directions, and then they just started opening fire on him. And in a panic, he goes to his back door to try to get out of the line of fire. Okay, keep that in mind. Keep that in mind because uh, they opened fire on him before he even headed before he even turned to go to that back door of his car. They already opened fire. Keep that in mind. That's why he's trying to duck for cover. Because they opened fire on him. And he was trying to cooperate. He was trying to... Uh, he was surrendering to them. Now, he raised his hands high in the air. He's desperately showing them he in desperation he this poor murdered victim was desperately showing these officers he is surrendering to these people he what else can he do what more does he have to do he they told him spread eagle he spread eagle they told him stand there he stood there and then they started opening fire on him so he he panicked and turned in towards his vehicle wanting to dive out under you know to dive out of cover to get under cover from being shot by these people and they just you know he what more does the man have to do to protect his life and to show that he's actually surrendering to these people he raised his fucking hands high in the air 
That's more than enough to know the man is surrendering. Why the fuck do you why the fuck then do they double tap him and murder him right after that? Because this was a hit, a professional hit by the Multnomah, by the by the county sheriffs. Sorry, this ain't the Multnomah County Sheriff. Uh, I don't uh, the Pinot County Sheriffs. I think that's what the county sheriffs are that are responsible for this. Uh, I would have to look this up again. I don't have this information readily available. Uh, it, it, this is not a. Uh, um, uh, sting operation that occurred in my state so I'm unfamiliar with the area and I'm unfamiliar with the law enforcement officers involved I'm not familiar with these uh, this is a different jurisdiction than I'm um, uh, aware of but suffice it to say these, this was a sting operation that was probably going on for several months and the, this person and his family were being targeted by a sting operation and were surrounded by sting, operative, sting operatives for at least several months. I mean, they have the surrounding apartments and surrounding houses surrounding this man and his family. And they, the county sheriffs and the police of this jurisdiction literally had paid sting operatives in position with cameras running before this man and the county sheriff showed up to ambush him. So it, this was a planned attack by the county sheriffs on this man. Now, they, for the sake of video, they're trying to give the impression that this was some sort of a car chase. It's not. It's an ambush. They ambushed the man where he lives. He all practically came to a stop right in front of where he lives because he was getting ready to turn into his driveway or or parking lot where he lives at and that's when the county sheriffs just pulled up right alongside him and stopped trying to block him in so this was by no means a car chase whatsoever this is not a car chase this is not a dangerous person law enforcement chasing but they want to give viewers you know that watch the news and listen to radio news and whatnot they want to give those people the impression that that's what it is they don't want people to know that this man has been surrounded and targeted by sting operatives for at least several months they don't want people to notice that why? Because if you notice it, then you realize, well, gee, this is a professional hit by the county fucking sheriffs. This was a deliberate and intentional murder by the county sheriffs, and they're faking an emergency to justify it. It sure the fuck isn't an emergency situation when the county sheriffs already have the man surrounded by sting operatives and that those sting operatives are recording in advance of the victim and the county sheriffs arriving on the scene. That's more than enough to know this is a planned hit by the county fucking sheriffs. This man was ambushed and murdered at his place of residence. They ambushed him where he lives. And they had sting operatives recording. So this was planned. And the sting operative is even flaunting the fact and making it known. He was expecting this to happen. He was expecting it. Now, this man, right after he raised his hands high to show and demonstrate that he's surrendering, he was double tapped by a county sheriff officer. Remember the man here? I believe this is the man right here that shot him. Uh, remember the officer that was over here and he was getting out of the line of fire before the firing occurred now keep that in mind that man nobody else was trying to get out of the line of fire but the officer that was over here was getting out of the line of fire now keep that in mind he knew he did that in advance of them opening fire so that 
correct officer that was over here and was walking over this way knew damn well that they were going to open fire on this man. That was their plan. Now, everything that occurred by these officers occurred as a plan. Okay, it was planned in advance. The officers already know what the outcome is going to be. They already knew they were going to kill this man after they pretend for video footage that the man's dangerous and they fake an emergency. That's how they justify killing people. Now, I'm going to let this play a little bit further. And please pay attention to what the cameraman is saying. Uh, Okay, now you can hear officers at this point yelling, you all need to get out of here. This is a restricted area. This is a restricted area. And he said it twice. Okay, so what is what are they trying to do? They're trying to make sure at this point, that right after the man falls, uh, they're trying to take control of the area. And what are the officers doing? Are they treating this man or deeming this man actually as a dangerous person? Or are they actually surveilling the area trying to uncover who is witnessing what's going on? This officer here, 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 and this officer over here. They're not even looking at the man anymore. They're all looking in different areas and different directions, and they're trying to scan who's a witness, who witnessed it, who witnessed the assassination they just committed. Who witnessed it? They want to know who witnessed it. Now keep in mind, uh, they can see the cameraman. He's very, cl he's much closer to these people than a lot of other bystanders are. They're ignoring the cameraman. They're ignoring the cameraman. But they're telling other people, this is a restricted area. This is a restricted area. They're putting on a bullshit act. What they're doing at the, right after they commit the assassination is they're trying to they're scanning the area, looking in all directions, trying to see who's wit who witnessed it. Now, they're not concerned about the cameraman because he's one of their sting operatives. So they don't give a shit if he's standing there recording them. He's being paid by them to record them. Okay? So they don't worry about him, but they're scanning the area to make sure there's no other witnesses. If there are witnesses, then they want to identify who the witnesses are. Um... Now let me start this up again. Okay, notice how they're all just kind of standing around and they're all talking to one another. This is the phase of uh, an assassination where law enforcement talks with their fellow officers and they're all uh, comparing notes and they're all uh, getting their story straight essentially is what they're doing. They all, you know, they always powwow right after they murder somebody because they want to get their story straight. They want to make sure everybody has their story straight. So that's that combined with the fact that uh, uh, they have to scan the area while they're talking and getting their story straight. They're scanning the area to see if there's other witnesses. They don't care if the sting operatives witnessed anything. They don't even care if the sting operatives are recording it. Okay, but they do. They want to make sure there is no people that are not involved in this that witnessed it. Okay, so that they are. They are in a situation at this point where they're literally uh, getting their story straight. And they're just scanning the area. They're waiting for an ambulance to show up to take away their murdered victim that they just murdered. And they're, they're in no rush to actually help this person. There's no CPR going on. There's no attempt to stem the bleeding going on whatsoever. They wanted this person to die. It's, it's, it's an 
assassination by law enforcement in broad daylight. They just fake an emergency. They just pretend the person's dangerous. And that's how they fake justifying assassinating people. Just like female officers fake being prostitutes. Well, male officers, male officers will fake an emergency and pretend you're dangerous to justify murder. And that's how they this how law enforcement does this over and over and over and over. Now I'm gonna start this up again. Once again, pay attention when the uh, cameraman is talking. Okay, what did that cameraman just say? He just turned the camera to some people that are across the street in the driveway. Here's the driveway where the, the murdered victim wanted to turn his vehicle into because um, he lives here. Uh, here's the victim's family right here. And, oh, gee, the victim's family is surrounded by sting operatives and by police officers and there's another police officer sitting there right across the street looking over at the sting operative with the camera and he's holding in his hand uh, his mic so he's talking with people right now and he's just sitting there uh, making sure that the family members don't go any closer to the the scene of the crime they're they're the police are making damn sure that the victim's family members cannot go over to where their family member was murdered. They're preventing and blocking the family members from getting a closer view. They don't want, first off, they don't want the family to see that they're not trying to save the man's life. They're not trying to stop the person's bleeding. They're not doing CPR. They're not doing anything to, to save that man's life. And the police officers, there's a police officer uh, right there, there's a police officer right there, and this is a sting operative right there, this fat ass motherfucker, he's probably a sting operative that's probably partners with the person that's holding the camera. Um, he's helping the police in keeping the family members from going any closer to the scene of the crime. They're blocking them. They don't want them to be witnesses. They don't want them to see that they're doing nothing to save that man's life. They don't want them to bear witness to it. So the, these two police officers and this sting operative is preventing the family members from viewing what happened to their relative. They're interfering. And the man that's holding the camera, this sting operative that's holding this camera, is admitting this is the that's their fa that's the victim's family members. So isn't it funny how this sting operative not only was expecting this victim to be ambushed by the county sheriffs and was expecting them to be killed, but he he knows who the man's family members are and is catching on video the fact that the police and one of his fellow sting buddies is preventing the family members from getting closer to the scene of the crime so that they can bear witness to the fact that they're doing nothing to help the man. Nothing. So this cameraman seems to know that pretends to be a neighbor across the street seems to know an awful lot about this victim that was murdered and about this victim's family members and he's amused by the fact that the police and his sting buddy partner fat ass motherfucker here right there is preventing the family from getting any closer so that they could bear witness to what's happening to their relatives Okay, now let me start this up again.
Okay, right there, uh, the Sting Operative is demonstrating, the Sting Operative cameraman is demonstrating how for them, for law enforcement people, this is fun and games. This is sport. Oh, now they have the news media with their helicopters to show up so that they, so that law enforcement and the news media can pretend and fake a car chase so that they can justify murder. And you know damn well that's how the news media and that's how the county sheriff portrayed it. They pretend the man's dangerous and by doing, by operating under that pretense, they fake justification. You, sh you need to literally deem all news reporters and all news networks as a propagandistic branch of your government. And because your news media literally backs up all the lies and all the pretenses that law enforcement puts on. They, liter they literally do. I mean, they're, they're there. News media is there not just to cover the story, but to give the impression that it was a car chase and that the man's dangerous and to give the impression to viewers of news that the county sheriffs were justified in the use of lethal force. And that's what news media's job basically is, is to back up the bullshit that law enforcement does and says. Um, the sting operative, he's treating this like it's a celebration, like it's a party. He's celebrating the fact, oh, gee, now the news media's there. Hi, but he's waving to them like they're buddies. Like they're buddies. Well, guess what? Law enforcement and news media have a long history of being buddies together. It's law enforcement that usually murders people and frames people, and it's news media's job to usually portray the cops as the good guys and make them always make law enforcement look justified in any action they take. So they're essentially partners. Law enforcement and news media are literally partners in these crimes and work together in these crimes so that they can appear justified in the organized targeting and the organized killing of people. Now I'm going to let this continue. Okay. Okay. Now, now that you've seen how this video, how the Sting Operative ended it, uh, you can see that the at no time was the victim given CPR. At no time were the officers trying to stem the bleeding. They let the man bleed out while they waited for the ambulance drive. It was a professional assassination by the county sheriffs and by the local police and by their uh, undercover sting operatives and by their local news media. It's a uh, assassination. And they get away with it because they all work together on it. And they all simply pretend and they fake for video surveillance they fake justification by pretending that their target is dangerous thus making the officers actions appear justified so in other words they just pretend now law enforcement and news media pretends all the time they do it all the time. They operate under false pretenses. Law enforcement will take over an entire motel 
for a prostitution sting and will pay several of their female officers to dress up and act like whores. And what are they doing? Why they're performing for video surveillance and they are trained at making people they talk to look like Johns. In other words, you don't have to be a John, for instance, for officers to make you look like one. All they have to do is have a female that's officer that's dressed like a whore and act like a whore talk to you on video surveillance. That's all it takes to make you look like a John. Through the sheer performance of a female officer's acting and pretending to be a prostitute, they can make you look like a John by doing absolutely nothing. You, you, they can still make you look like a bad guy. Well... On this particular video, these officers are trying to make this man look like a bad guy. And he's doing nothing wrong. He is being illegally ambushed by a criminal sting operation that is not really trying to hide the fact from him that they're targeting him. He's already aware of it at this point. He had every reason to fear for the safety of his life. It's not a fucking car chase. The man was slowing down to turn into his driveway. He's driving at a normal rate of speed and these law officers simply ambushed him at the moment where he reaches the part of the road where he's going to turn into the place where he lives. So this was a deliberate ambush by the county sheriffs and their sting operatives were already surrounding the area in anticipation of the ambush. Which is proof, literally proof, that uh, it was a planned attack by the county sheriffs. Now, through these officers' sheer performance alone, through their sheer performance, they're making the man look dangerous when he's not. They simply pretend for video surveillance that the man's dangerous. They fake it. Just like a female officer fakes being a prostitute, male officers will fake and pretend that their target is dangerous. They just fake it for video surveillance. Now that man was trying to cooperate with these murderers, but he already knows he's a victim of a sting operation. This man being targeted by a sting, he was surrounded by sting operatives. Uh, it, to be surrounded by sting operatives means you're surrounded for months and months and months. They'll harass you. They'll terrorize you. They'll make it known. Sting operators make it known to their targets. They have no way to get help. That there's nobody they can contact. There's nobody they can call that cares. So the man already knows he's being targeted by law enforcement illegally. He wasn't speeding. He was driving at a normal rate of speed and slowed down because he was going to turn into the driveway or parking lot of the place where he lives. And a sting operative that with the camera is actually making that known. It's like, keep in mind, the cameraman is in law enforcement or he's a civilian operative for law enforcement. Now keep in mind his mentality and keep in, keep in mind his attitude. Keep in mind how he's treating it like it's fun and games, like it's a sport. And keep in mind somebody was directing him to get out of his vehicle and go over there to get closer uh, video footage of it. And it was a female sting operative that was telling him to do this. <clears throat> so keep that in mind. This man and his family was surrounded by sting operatives. Surrounded. So this was a this was an ambush. Not this not a car chase where uh, county sheriffs are chasing a bad guy that robbed some place and is trying to run. That they may try to give that appearance or impression to people, but that's not what took place here. This man was probably more than likely coming home from work and was ambushed by these officers who already had him and his family surrounded by 
uh, undercover and civilian operatives that probably already spent several months probably harassing and terrorizing this man. Uh, the man knew instantly that uh, he's, you know, that um, he was deliberately being targeted. He probably had reason to fear for his life, which is why he parkoured around the officer. He's not trying to speed. He's not trying to speed. If he was, they wouldn't have been able to catch up to him so easily and, and slam into him to cause his vehicle to swerve and to come to a stop. He's just trying to get away, uh, get away from these murderous people that he's already aware is a bunch of murderous criminals. He already knows. He has no reason to surrender to law enforcement because law enforcement is not acting legally. They're acting illegally. They have his whole family surrounded by sting operatives. He has every reason to fear for the safety of his life because of these people's deliberate and clear intentions of targeting him. Now keep in mind that this ambush of theirs was planned in advance and they had sting operatives already in position and recording before the man arrived at his place of residence and before the county sheriff tried to box him in. Keep that in mind. Because this, it was not an emergency situation, no matter how much they fake and pretend it's an emergency situation. It is not. It is an ambush where law enforcement simply fakes and pretends that it's an emergency so that they could justify assassinating somebody. And that's what they did to this person. They murdered this person. And he was, he was a victim of a sting operation and was surrounded by sting operatives. And a sting operative that's recording this assassination is even recording the fact that he's being directed by another sting operative to get closer because the man parkoured around the officer's vehicle and got like a half a block further. So one of the female sting operatives is yelling at the sting operative with the camera to Get out of the vehicle and go down the street and get a closer video of the killing. Because they already knew they are going to kill the man. They already fucking knew. They already knew. So what, during this bullshit ambush where the victim is in a vehicle and the county sheriffs in uniform are in a vehicle, there's multiple sting operatives that are on foot surrounding the residence where this man lives. And the, the man that's recording with the camera is being directed by other sting operatives to get closer to get it on video. Because they already knew, they already know what's going to happen. They were expecting the ambush and were waiting for it and were, were recording in advance in order to catch it on video. And the cameraman, the sting operative cameraman, was impressed at the man's parkour skill of parkouring around the officer. So it didn't, they didn't murder him in front of his residence. So the sting, like they planned to. So the sting operative with that's recording had to get out of the vehicle he was sitting in and run down the street a little ways so that he can get a closer view of the killing. <clears throat> it's a blatant assassination. Sting, law enforcement uses these tactics to murder people all the time. All the time. They just fake an emergency. They, they surround the target with sting operatives. They stage the place where they're going to do the attack. And uh, they overwhelm their target by sheer numbers. And then they all just fake and pretend you're a bad guy. And then they, for video surveillance purposes. And then they just open fire. And then pretend and fake that they're justified. And then news media backs up that bullshit. And of course, news media is ignoring the fact that this cameraman was recording in advance of these people arriving 
in advance of this assault on this person's life, um, news media ignores the fact that law enforcement already had this man and his family surrounded by sting operatives. News media ignores that. They ignore that fact and they don't tell their viewers about it. This is a, the United States of America is a fascist fucking country. Your police force, your county sheriffs are a bunch of grinning, smirking pedophiles and serial killers. And they have used sting tactics for fucking decades to murder people and to frame people. And they never give a shit if they're caught doing it. And they don't care if people wake up to it. And they don't give a shit if anybody is aware of it. They just, anybody that tries to warn people ends up being poisoned or shot or framed for a crime. And nobody seems to care. News media doesn't give a rat's ass if law enforcement planned that attack at all. They could care less. They'll just pre they just back up the propagandistic lie that the county sheriffs tell people. And the, the propagandistic lie is the county sheriffs will say, well, the man headed towards the, the back of his car. There could have been a weapon back there. That's not justification in shooting the man. And you know why that's not justification? You know why? Because the county sheriff started opening fire on the man before he fucking turned to open that door. Before. He was just standing there and they opened fire on him. He's, he's going to the back of his door in his car because he's being shot at and he wanted to duck undercover. Because he's already being shot at. <laughs> Law enforcement and their sting operatives does this to people all the time. All over the country. This goes on all over the country. Uh, sting operatives generally recruit family members of their targets involved to get them involved in those stings so that the family members can testify against their target. Um... That, that was an assassination by county sheriff officers and by their sting operatives. And uh, news media is obviously partners to it and helps and assists police in these assassinations by helping law enforcement create the impression that the, that the victim is dangerous and that law enforcement is justified in the killing. As long as they give the impression to the viewers that they're justified, then there is no outcry for justice. So they fake justification. But any attempt to hide their sting operations it generally tends to be half-assed because the sting operative slash cameraman isn't even hiding the fact, really. That he is, in fact, a sting operative because he's expecting the ambush to take place right in front of the spot where the man normally turns to pull into the place where he lives. And that's where the sting operative with the running camera is waiting and was expecting the ambush to take place. The only thing that surprised the cameraman was the moment when the victim parkoured his vehicle around the county sheriff officer's vehicle. That was the only thing that caught that cameraman by surprise. Because that cameraman wasn't surprised by the ambush at all. Um, this is how law enforcement murders people. It's literally government assassination. Literally, it's government it's government's way of assassinating people. And they use local... It's, no, it's not a big... 
giant FBI fucking program or some kind of a big giant federal program. Not I'm not saying FBI doesn't do this to people. You know damn well they do. But it's local authorities. It's local sting operatives. It's local news media 99% of the time that does this shit to people. And they are organized and they work together on this shit. And they surround their targets so that they can testify against their targets just because of how close they are to the target. Which is why police generally surround their victims with sting operatives. And it's a form of murder. It's literally government's way of murdering off people. It's how, it's how law enforcement assassinates people. And they get away with it because they just fake and pretend they're justified. And they fake that justification by pretending their victim is dangerous. Now what more can that victim do to show and demonstrate that he was surrendering? I mean, Jesus Christ, he's standing there spread eagle because he was ordered to by at least eight, nine guys that are pointing guns at him and all of them are yelling conflicting orders all at the same time. So he's doing his best to cooperate with a bunch of nutcases that are in law enforcement that bl clearly and blatantly know that they're all yelling and screaming conflicting orders at the same time. They know damn well that that man cannot follow all the orders that they're giving because to follow one order is to disobey another order. Law enforcement already knows that. When... If you do in this in the United States of America, you can literally do nothing wrong. You can be you can act you know you can be your normal self and do nothing wrong, and you're just going about your normal daily business. And next thing you know, you're attacked and assaulted by several people in law enforcement, and they ha all of a sudden they have you surrounded, and they're all pointing guns at you, and they're all yelling and screaming and yelling conflicting orders at you. What are you, what are you going to be doing? What are you going to think? You're going to think, gee, these people are nutcases. What the fuck is wrong with you officers? Why are you all acting like this? You know, you're going to be confused. You're going to be like, why the fuck are you all acting like this? You don't, and they're all yelling conflicting orders. You might understand one or two of the orders, and you may attempt to obey one of the orders, but you can't obey all of them because they're all yelling conflicting orders at the same fucking time while they all point guns at you. Now, what more do you need to do to show and demonstrate that you're surrendering? Uh, excuse me, the man raised his hands high in the air. That's more than enough to know the man is surrendering. He's showing you he's unarmed. He's showing you he's not resisting. He's showing you he's submitting and surrendering to an arrest. And what do the officers do right after he does that? They double tapped him and murdered him. They murdered him. They assassinated him. They did nothing to save the man's life. There is no CPR going on. There is no, they're not even trying to stem the bleeding. Nothing. They're doing nothing to save that man's life. And the sting operatives and police officers in uniform are surrounding the family members and blocking them and preventing them from getting closer so that they can bear witness to the fact that the man is not receiving any CPR. They're literally blocking and preventing the family from bearing witness to the treatment of their relatives after he is shot. They're blocking them. They did nothing wrong. They're in their fucking homes. They did nothing wrong. So why is law enforcement ambushing the other family members and blocking them from witnessing what happened? And gee, one of those fat ass motherfuckers that's not in uniform, why well, he's a sting operative. And he's doing the same thing that the police officers in uniform are doing. He's blocking the family members from being able to see the fact that they're doing nothing to save the man's life. Nothing. So the county sheriffs 
murdered an unarmed man that was actually had every reason to fear for the, his safety. If he was surrounded by sting operatives, which this video clearly demonstrates he was, and that they clearly had malice and intent to cause harm to him, of which this video, of which that sting operative with the camera is clearly demonstrating that was their intent. Um, this man had every reason to flee for the safety of his fucking life. Anybody is justified in fleeing a dangerous situation. So I don't fault that man for parkouring around that fucking goddamn piece of fucking shit pedophile county sheriff officer. You have a right to flee a dangerous situation. And those officers had murder on the brain and were literally wanting to kill that person. And they literally wanted to ambush the person at his place of residence. And it was planned in advance. So there is no emergency. So the county sheriff just fake it for video surveillance. Just like county sheriffs fake everything else so that they can justify any action they take. As long as they pretend their targets are bad guys, well then law enforcement can appear to viewers that watch the news, they can appear to be justified. These sting operatives and the county sheriffs that are paying those sting operatives that had th this poor man and his family surrounded, they murdered that man. They planned it in advance. It was all planned. The, whole, the video actually demonstrates the fact that not only was it planned and was expected to occur by the sting operatives, but the fact that the sting operatives are being coached and directed to get with the camera is being coached and directed by other sting operators to get closer because the man parkoured around the officer in their vehicle so that you know because they wanted to get a close-up of the killing on video so a sting operator is yelling at the sting operative with the camera to get closer It's a clear assassination. And law enforcement just fakes and pretends justification. Okay, I'm going to have to end this video right now.